I went to the liquor store today and I don't know what the fuck was going on in there before I went in there. But it <laughs> smelled like straight up people shit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was the dude who was in like one of the homeless dude. Not homeless. He ain't homeless. He's in wine of it. But it was, I, think he, I think he do do on himself. I, it smells yeah. so bad I washed my hands like eight times when I got home. <laughs> That reminds me of a time I went to Target and I was walking behind this lady. I wish I still had the fucking picture. Uh, white, like, velour jumpsuit, like, sweatshirt, like, nice sweater and white, like, pants and just a giant brown circle in the middle of her ass. Oh, and I, I got a picture of it and I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> and since it happened in a Target, I put a, I put a circle a red circle around the brown circle. Wow. Tar- yeah. Target didn't take my advertisement. There's, there's your target. They're, so they're you marketing didn't that, team. Or, you didn't get that job at tar- no, Target no. Marketing. They did not like my portfolio. <laughs> Sir, there's a lot of dick pics and then, a, then a, uh, and then a picture of a woman's ass, I have to assume, that is a doo-doo stain. And Jeff got all mad and he's like, well, what is it that you want, Target? I don't know. <laughs> beautiful nerds i'm jedi master grayson and i'm your favorite cousin's favorite cousin bill and welcome to does it it the show where we revisit classic genre films to see if they're as good or as bad as we remember and we may get drunk while we do it but as always, we cannot get on. That's right. We are joined, as always, by a special guest to help us determine if this film stands the test of time. Uh, we are joined by uh, one of the funniest people I know beside myself. He's a lover and a fighter. Guys, welcome to the podcast, Jeff. Oh, ho, ho. take that, motherfucker. <laughs> this is a battle. This is a battle going on here, y'all. Viewers. I'm leaving. Good I'm leaving. Good to be back. Right now. <laughs> No, no I'm going to interrupt you like Kanye. I'm going to interrupt you like Kanye. Beyonce <laughs> had the best music video of all time. <laughs> no, you I ain't going to like that. <laughs> I'm going to soul medallion into your body and make you say I'm the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to let you finish, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's all love. I just wanted to tease Blake a little bit real quick. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, how you doing? I'm well, I'm well. I'm excited to break this one down. One of my favorite dumb movies of all time. I remember <laughs> loving it as a kid. I'm excited. Uh, man, so excited about oh, this. Oh, wait, this ain't in, that ain't in this movie. <laughs> one of the few ninja movies that is not you in would, yeah. You would lose our game show. Dude, it might be in Three Ninjas, man. It might be. Uh, I man, I put it in the comments ninjas, if you guys too. want to hear us talk about Three Ninjas. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you, if you don't put it in the comments, we definitely going to talk about Three Ninjas. Well, but definitely. Just I was going to say. You guys just got the most comments from me in a, on an episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys can fa- check out Jeff and this next incredible gentleman on the Nine Nerd Yards a cha- YouTube channel where they talk about Ahsoka, Atlanta, and Idol and a bunch of nerdy shit. Uh, but this guy right here, he's the host of the Unfiltered Bachelor podcast. Oh, you can buddy. also catch him on the Nine Nerd Yards channel hosting their live stream. Blake Moneyweather, what is going on? What's happening, Wait, man? How, how are you doing? You, you, yeah, you messed yeah, up my no, name. Not, so not only because you, you was fucking not with him. only started. You was fucking oh. with him earlier, so now you just fucked up. That's crazy. Right. <laughs> um, my whole I definitely li- one or two more times. I'm I'm out of here, bro. I, <laughs> I did not come on. Does it hold up to be disrespectful? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um i am good though thank you for having me it's your favorite cousin's favorite mexican per usual uh and yeah i'm i'm happy to uh just be here thank you it's it's always a pleasure having the nine nerd yards family in the house that's right uh we are talking even even when they stay too long and they eat all your food out the refrigerator (laughs) we love having them all man we love having them in the house right that's that's just family though your family's supposed to overstay their welcome but then after they leave you're like yeah, I still have fun. Yeah, start, bringing, start carrying shitty stacks. I'll stop. Sta- I'll stop stealing. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, but Bill, what are we talking about? Well, today? Alex, exactly. we are talking about 
the 1994 karate action film. Karate is a very loose term. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the 94 karate action film Double Dragon, based off the popular arcade game Double Dragon, starring <laughs> Alyssa Milano, Scott Oof. Wolf, and yeah. Mark DeCoscos, <laughs> otherwise known as the Iron Chef, the otherwise Iron Chef. known as Jimmy, Jimmy Lee. Lee. Man, we're big Mark Dacascos fans over here. Can't wait to get into this movie. And we're obviously also, not that also, big. Also, wait, 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 wait. Robert Patrick, why are we, why oh. not the top of your, oh, why is that not the top of your list? <laughs> There's a reason, and we will get okay. into that. Top, top build cast on IMDb, just said. Okay. He is top, top build cast. That, that was, that was an oversight by your boy because I typed up these notes like, Six minutes ago, uh, <laughs> it's not. No, it's not oversight. We I, we gonna get into the, we gonna get into him and but uh, well, excuse me, that sounded gross. But we gonna talk, <laughs> we gonna talk about him later. So we'll get deep inside. Uh, bro, uh, he's got the shadow power. He might get deep into you. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't threaten me with a good time. Uh, but <laughs> before we talk about what we're talking about, uh, let's talk about what we're talking about, uh, guys. How did you feel the first time? you watched this movie uh blake since i disrespected you up top i'll let you go first <laughs> bruh uh well one thank you two i was probably seven or eight maybe um yeah i was like probably 90 95 96 yeah so i was about seven or eight uh and i was watching the cartoon the cartoon was always on yes. and when i realized they had a live action movie um, I had my mom rent it for me for from the old good old Blockbuster before the days of Prime and Redbox when you had to go in and fight for a movie that you wanted <laughs> and and roll the dice to hope that it was there. Um, yeah, I saw it then and I remember like you have a have a good, good time with it. Yeah, this is a cartoon. The cartoon was so dope. It was so good. Uh, they had swords. Actually, they had swords. And the, the 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 bad guy was the actual shadow demon guy that yeah. they would have they definitely based the little uh Robert Patrick's shadow demon thingamajiggers on. Yeah, see he kinda kinda they kind of they fucked it up a little bit, a lot of bit. They fucked it up a lot of shit. <laughs> <But, laughs> I forgot yeah, about he's the a little, cop sidekick that they had. Oh yeah. Every, everybody did. Um, but <laughs> I I remember watching it then and I remember enjoying it. And then I remember trying to watch it, uh actually purchasing it on video from a pawn shop. They used to be uh, a classic just a, a classic day in the life of young money Blakeweather going to pawn shops and buying like 20 videos for like 40 bucks. It was great. <laughs> and this was one of the videos I purchased, and I remember watching it, and I'm like I don't know how I feel about this movie. <laughs> as, as I've gotten older, um, I wanted to own it, but I, as I've gotten older, I, many, many, many words come to mind, and we'll we'll get into it. But again, fond memories uh, of the early times when memories. I watched this movie. <laughs> memories of the nineties. So uh, mm-hmm. Is there anything more sweet? Uh, the answer is yes. Yes, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how did you feel about this the first time you saw it? Oh, so just absolutely loved it. So growing up, uh, I've got a cousin who's a year younger than me, but lived far away. So like in the summers and over like Christmas vacations, we were always hanging out, always together. And so, of course, a movie like Double Dragon comes out. And that's the best thing ever for us. <laughs> because, I mean, like, you know, there's two of us. And so we, we yeah. loved it. And we, we obviously loved the cartoon you- coming up. Yeah. Of course, we always had uh, the argument over who got to be uh, Jimmy because he was obviously the cooler of the two. Oh, I thought uh, you were gonna say he was. I thought you were gonna say because uh, your friend was Asian, your cousin was Asian. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be he, Jimmy just this one time? He's a. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's an even. Uh, he's an even starchier white rice than I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but. No, so I loved it back then, and yeah, we loved the cartoon, and then uh, we would rent all the video games we could of it. And just after the movie, I mean, the cartoon we loved, but then after the movie, it was everything Double Dragon, you know? My oh, uncle yeah. made us little swords out of, like, scrap wood, and, like, we just run around playing Double Dragons, man. It was the best. 
And Blake, I will say another thing about the cartoon that was hysterical and completely different than the movie, they somehow gave dragon po- uh, powers to every friend they had. Because I remember <laughs> the one dude who like got his arm chopped off and they're like, don't worry about it. Dragon powers. And then he like had a That's robot right. arm. But only when he activated his dragon powers, which yeah. to me was like, then why would you ever unactivate? <laughs> yeah, well, here, well, and here's here's the thing. Yeah. The thing with that, like there's no consistency between the movie, the video game, oh, and the God. cartoon, but I'm sure yeah. we can get into that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god. Yeah, not well, a lot of consistency. Um yeah, we will get into <laughs> the uh animated show. The nitty um, and the gritty, as you as you like to say. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get into yeah, the consistent when we get into the nitty and the gritty. I will say, um, the cartoon is rated better than the um than the movie. As it yeah. The movie. <laughs> well, well, I'll I'll it's because it's better. Yeah. The cartoon. That's... I was just watching the it cartoon right before, like literally, it was on YouTube. I was like, man, I'll watch what? episode three right now. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I turned on Double Dragon. So. And I just was like, yo, let me look up the uh let me look up the uh rating. And it got 81% like this TV show on IMDB. Um they got the full fucking series. Yeah, they got the whole series, dog. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, same um, to library. <laughs> <laughs> um but sorry, we were saying the movie that reception wasn't quite as warm. The critics <laughs> gave it a rating of 12%. Mm. Um, accurate. audience score, very accurate. The audience score is twenty six percent. Accurate, so. very accurate. <laughs> not, not great. Not um, pulling any punches. <laughs> Tell you what, people, uh, people were nicer on IMDb. Oh yeah, three point nine. Oh, three point wow. nine. Thirty nine. Not accurate. Not accurate. <laughs> High. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll build it like I'm obviously we grew up together, so we we're probably gonna have very. <laughs> I think we saw it in the movie theater yeah. first. First okay. of all, I was trying to see when the cartoon came out 93. because 93. So, yeah, because I remember, yeah, it came out September the 12th, 1993. Welcome to Dragon Ball, double Dragon. Sorry, I said Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I've been smoking this here, marriage of Juana, but um. Good morning marijuana i was marijuana. like hella disappointed when i at the very beginning of the movie because of how different the movie is from the tv show i was totally mm-hmm. expecting to get that movie you know what i mean like it's like if you went to an x-men movie and mm-hmm. all the x-men were black <laughs> you know Maybe what i'm saying movie and I'd then... be very upset too. Yeah, I'd be very upset. I'm just saying, like, like okay, this is cool, but this ain't X Men though, because all of it, it's some black X Men for sure, for sure. But all the X Men are not black, <laughs> so that's how I felt. Like, you know, like okay, these dudes has got karate's. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, <laughs> but these guys don't have no dragon. Or no powers, or no tattoos, or nothing. Right on their titties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This should, be a, this should be a dragon from nipple to nipple. We all know that. <laughs> that we all know that. The boy with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, I wanted. Uh, like, it's weird. This this is the weird moment in '90s uh, movie history where they are adapting a lot of video games. Trying to tap into the zeitgeist of uh, what the kids are into when you know the Mortal Kombat and the Street Fighters. Uh, and with all those movies, it seemed like it was kind of a swing and a miss, uh, at least financially. I mean, we already talked about how it's not critically well received, uh, but this movie only made about like $4.1 million at the box office. <laughs> and even if you adjust for inflation, uh, that's a, not enough money for any movie to make. <laughs> like, Especially like, with Blair all Witch Projects shit made more money. Right, yeah. Mil- which milk problem? costs more money than that nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Even a carton of eggs. Come on, man. By the way, I don't oh. know where you're getting that four million, but that's grossly overrated compared to IMDb. Oh, really? Oh, this is a worldwide gross. So maybe what? What, what did it 2. say? Two point three million. Two point three on a budget of seven point eight million. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn, that means the people that me and Alex saw the movie with in that theater are the only people who saw this. And <laughs> <laughs> that's what that means. It also means they made more money collectively than this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I probably made exactly that amount of money in my entire life. <laughs> right. And they've made that money in what one weekend i guess that's better timing i mean but they spent seven <laughs> so i don't know man i i whoa that's bad but you know what great i will say if they'd have gotten more money this would have been a better movie and then maybe you know maybe it gets a better rating yeah you know maybe money, is, money. money is the fuel for options you definitely have better uh resources the bigger the budget is um and i'm honestly surprised that the budget was so low um but let's you know let's get into the first ep- uh, first scene of the movie because uh i actually I- i'm curious of what y'all feel about like the opening a lot of people think uh narration <laughs> is kind of old hat uh but what did y'all think of the well, narration it wasn't old in hat this? in 94 though yeah, I mean, that at was... this point, like you know, you have old noir movies in the forties that had narrations. I'm just saying like it that. wasn't well, old. They that. spent but, all the but... all the all the money on the graphics for this because it looks cool. Like it looks like it's about it to start look... off pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. And and with Robert P- Patrick narrating, you're like, I don't know what I'm getting into, but this could kind of be, say kind of be cool. I will say, and I wanted to make sure I said this before you push play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those yeah. dragons look like horse hats. Horse hats? Horse heads? Look horse at those heads, heads oh, and tell me heads. that doesn't those... look like a horse. That oh, yeah. does look very Somebody horsey. probably cheated. They don't look you know like what I'm dragons. Saying? Whoever the jeweler is, he cheated. He already had one with horses. <laughs> so then he just made some dots in the it's... eyes and put some little slits in the teeth so it looked like <laughs> teeth. And teeth it's from teeth. a deleted scene from Bill and Ted. It's their wild stallion uh, medallions. <laughs> there's a prop from that big movie there's actually just a prop from that movie that they just <laughs> this is the era of repurposed props like this is the era of repurposed props for sure Somewhere, okay. in, China. somewhere love, in China. I love a somewhere in a not American country. Yeah, uh, that subtitle demands that it be hilarious. Oh, you know, God. when you see this in a movie, it's very um, what's his name from? Oh, man, damn, I would be forgetting names today. Prince Stewart. No, no, Prince no, Stewart. Um, Blazing Saddles. What was the name? Uh, uh Mel, Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. That <laughs> is, is a very Mel Brooks. That thing, is a yeah. Mel Brooks thing. Like <laughs> somewhere in China. Like somewhere in Europe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that is definitely his thing. So it's supposed to be hilarious, which this is a complete drop off <laughs> right. from, from here. <laughs> Unintentionally funny. I don't know why, but it made me think of uh SNL Celebrity Jeopardy, where the hint is just Asia. <laughs> <laughs> what is what somewhere in China for three hundred, Alex? Very scary, scary. Pretty good. I didn't know what time period it was, though. I'm like, is this the Mongols? Right. <laughs> yeah. Is that two days ago? Somewhere and sometime in China. <laughs> I will say that that was, this is probably, hold on, we got to go back because this is probably the best action scene, like fight scene we get. And I'm talking about not scene, moment. This this fight <laughs> moment right that here. All star. Like, Ali, that was it. Ali Yong, yeah. That was it. <laughs> As, you know what? I will talk about, because my favorite action scene in this movie does include this guy and another Asian all-star who we all know and love, Mark Dacosta. Oh yeah, you know what? But I will, I forgive, forgive me. I was wrong. That statement <laughs> I just said will not hold up in about 20 minutes. Three <laughs> minutes. Whenever we get to that. Yeah. About three <laughs> minutes. In about three minutes. <laughs> I just wonder what will hold up better. This, the movie or the, or your comments you just made? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Maybe know. I don't know. We'll find out though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga is wild. He escalated quickly. Let me cut out their tongues. Well, how do no, you? No, 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 no. No, he said, said they already cut, they out, cut their out their tongues. Right. Yeah, they so out, they can't crazy. talk. Oh yeah, that's crazy. But these niggas is wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like strangling folks, cutting out your tongue, my guy. 
You cut out your own tongue? Oh yeah, yeah. That's just so you don't just, just so to... you don't have to tell somebody. <laughs> I just won't tell nobody. Like right. I'll be like, look, dog, right. look, dog, but prom I promise I'm not gonna tell nobody. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know why y'all came around here. Well, well I, I guess that's I got an so much indication. to talk about. I just start, I yeah. just finished breaking bad. Like I want to talk about things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's an indication of like they're saying that Asian culture, they just be snitching on everybody, and it's gotten so bad <laughs> that they have to cut out their own well, tongues to not snitch on each other. Well, not you know all what, of Asian culture, but just somewhere in China. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. It's not everywhere China. in Asia, but just somewhere in China, in they China. be telling a lot. They was te- they was te- <laughs> not no more though. Not no more. <laughs> Jeff, what'd you say? I said, well, check out the next scene. Oh yeah, he's yeah. snitching. He does. Yeah. Dry <laughs> snitching. Dry <laughs> snitching. Hold on, he ain't even been running long. He said, yeah, he's old. "Look at his face." He <laughs> <laughs> got a cramp in his stomach. It's got a stitch. Okay. He leads her into this. Wait. Yeah. Tell Sorry, me you can it. snitch without telling me you, you can <laughs> snitch. That's what this <laughs> right? says to me. Before we go any further, is this the same cave from Surf Ninjas? I think so. God, I hope so. <laughs> yes, He's missing yes. the gold. Uh, and, gold. Right? and three ninjas kick back, though. Don't Damn, stop it. This was the ninja cave. Stop it. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was a location that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles decided not to go with. So they just was like, oh, they said they was going to go there. We should go there. The same, uh, yeah, scouting uh, logo. Yeah, because if y'all don't follow or you haven't followed the show for some stupid reason, (laughs) um, we have found a trope right after the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 89. Oh, yeah, yeah. We mm-hmm. see nothing but ninja movies coming out. And even when it's not a ninja movie, somebody doing some kung fu ninja stuff. So <laughs> it's just a, yeah. it's a heavy trope. But we, in the I want to get to these candles. Was this the time that Jackie Chan was coming up in America? Yeah, he was yes. like his movies were getting popular, but he had not yet done an American. Rumble movie. in the Bronx was like right. 95. So yeah. like but that I was think... like his big American breakthrough. Right. And yeah. then we get Rush Hour not too long after that. Well, but I mean, like they were all getting um, Americanized, like uh, Who Am I and everything, too. Right. Yeah, definitely. Right. But yeah. it was Ninja Turtles that did it. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. But I want to know whose job it is to come in here. And put these candles in. Somebody got to put <laughs> candles it's that in old here motherfucker. Every day. That's it's why he was is. freaking out. He was like, "Shit, I forgot to light the last three. <laughs> I can't let her see it." There has to be a schedule. Yeah, there has to be a schedule. <laughs> it had to be. The reason he was at the rocks was because it was his bathroom break. Because he has to be in here. He has to be in here nonstop, just putting candles <laughs> in and replacing them and relighting them. One. I mean, by the time he finishes the last one, the first one's burnt down one, all the yeah, way. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> 14 minute box. Oh, this one about to snitch. She said, What up? And he said, Uh. Bro, you were hiding <laughs> just fine. <laughs> Man. You could have stayed hidden and not told her shit. Nobody <laughs> yeah. would have known. It just looked like money over there. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even. And also, she kind of dumb, though, right? It's obviously I mean, a medallion it's... hanging right there. You're looking right. for a medallion. It's the only medallion in the motherfucking cave. Right. All the candles are circled around it. It's yeah. just Can kind of mean... obvious. I mean, she shouldn't. He. She shouldn't have needed him to snitch. He right. did snitch. No, no, he did snitch. Can but you he... back up like two seconds? Okay, there. We go. I was gonna say like, is there a clasp on that, or is it like, but like, no, she could lift it over that. Yeah. Oh, does she? I thought that what, she was gonna what? do the the classic what? '90s thing like, where you just yeah, snatch it off. You should have like snatched it. Everybody like, snatching off necklaces like, like it was a rapper in the club. She should have just tears the fucking uh, neck. tears the statue head off, destroys a priceless <laughs> artifact. But yeah, she she does she snatch the... it. She yanks it. She yanks the thing in the words of that <laughs> one it. kid. Watch. Oh, she, she does snatch it. Yeah, the classic Told '90s you. snatch. Look at that. Yes. That's that. That's that. See, Blake, we got the sound too. Look. To this sound guy, you know what I'm we saying? We got the documents proof. She be snatching shit. <laughs> and look, I looked up sat phone. I looked up oh, 1990 yeah, phone satellite right phones. I ain't seen nothing that looked like this. Oh man, it's so funny. That's because this isn't 1990s. 
This is 2007. You Remember that. You got it. Right. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking yeah, about? This is the future. What I'm talking you're about. looking up the wrong thing, but, man. I will Come say on, this, this is kind 15 of a years cool ago. reveal when I saw this. You know, like when I was a kid, I was like, oh shit, it's a girl. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew it was a white person because they, they had blue eyes. Yeah. But I was like, because they, they was colonizing. <laughs> they was colonizing. That's how I knew it was a white person. Knew they were leading, leading the way. I, it also, also let me know what time period I was in. Like, I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? It wasn't until this moment that I knew that we weren't in the past talking right. about these damn medallions. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, she, I think, she was a, Jennifer I think that's haircut. how it was yeah. supposed to be, too, you know? Maybe. Like, you when know, you see you the technology, what? you're like, oh, okay, it's not the past. Maybe. But I love how uh, she's got the smallest microphone ever. Because it's not like, you know, like... When you have that, and then there's like the little ball yeah. of the microphone yeah. coming out. Uh, there's not even a, cir- a circle here. <laughs> no, the giant extendable satellite. Right. <laughs> a, 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 a picture of opposites. I fucking love it. It, it kind of looks like the same satellite phone that they had in Congo that was also completely mythical. Like, it had no basis in <laughs> real technology. Yeah, that scene. Congo I mean, like... was a documentary. It was a documentary. Yo, don't say stuff like that because there's somebody out there that's going to say that for somebody. <laughs> oh, God, that made me so happy. That's, that's, that would be it. I, I would have succeeded in life. Done. So I, look, I will, I, will, I will admit, if I started a rumor and somebody like Donald Trump took it off and they was just like, you oh. know, like you just said, Congo, Congo <laughs> is... Congo is definitely a documentary. I heard it. I'm hearing. I would love it so much. I'm hearing. People are saying Congo is a documentary. Oh, and all, speaking of Trump, it it looks like he wrote the the text for for the somewhere in China. It's like where was you know where was the virus from? Somewhere in China. No. Somewhere in China. No, uh, Blake. It'd be somewhere. where's the movie Congo located? Somewhere in somewhere China. In China. But, you know, it, uh, we touched on this a little bit uh, when we were was transitioning into the scene, but I'm curious what you guys thought about sort of the world building, because this is like a, supposed to be a, a post-apocalyptic sort of uh, dystopian future. We got the New Angeles. Uh, it's been overcome by the, 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 the horrors of climate change. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Is it is it good? Is it bad? Well, let me just start because mine's quick. What the, the fans? fuck's going on with these fans? This is the first time <laughs> I noticed this shit in life. It's blowing the like, smog oh. away, man. Uh huh. <laughs> well, we need that now, goddamn. Let me tell you something. If that works, if that technology, <laughs> right? if we have like the technology, <laughs> let's rebuild him, goddamn it, <laughs> because that is ridiculous. But um, oh, yeah, yeah that feel like that would not work. Yeah, Jeff, what'd you think about this? Uh, the world building in this. Uh, I, I, it's okay. I'm going to warn you. It's like everything in this movie. I love it because of how ridiculous it is. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, like the idea that like, that's what makes it. I like how they, they put the fans up there because it's blowing the smog away, but then it's all, all the smog is still under the fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You just blow the smog <laughs> down toward the poor people. That's like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it is. There was an earthquake or something that, you know. Well, yeah. So that's why up. the, um, the new jack city guys and all that is and like the shock absorbers is because the big yeah. one happened and so there's still the afterquakes going and all that stuff and it's just yeah the big i mean quake. i know it's jumping ahead of it but i mean the whole oh man the the river's so polluted it could catch on fire yeah or the two guys like or the brothers, uh, the brothers Lee. Uh, I heard if you stay in here for more than three minutes, you turn into a frog. Or like, you know, just, right? Yeah, that's how yeah, cool that's right. Los Angeles is. It's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, New still... Angeles. New Angeles. Yeah, don't talk about Los Angeles. <laughs> I don't feel like having to defend my city right now, man. <laughs> Are you pulling up the? Uh... Oh yeah, I'm no, pulling no, up exactly what. Well, y'all have come up since 2007. Let me tell you that. I I want to give kudos <laughs> yeah. to your Thanks. city. Turns for... things around, yeah. yeah Thanks, man. Because like you know what, people don't people don't really be giving us that kind of credit. You know what I'm saying? L.A. then came up since 2007. Yeah, it's been a good 15. Crazy. Ain't nobody in the. Ain't nobody got no curfews. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> 
also like <laughs> that's nineties nice. music Sword right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was thinking like I guess not oh, wait, necessarily Mortal Kombat, but all the nineties video game movies, if they don't have a boat chase scene, they at least have a boat scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. People love fucking boats. Street Fighter had a yeah. big one. Street Fighter, but, Mortal Kombat had a big boat in it. Yeah, it wasn't a yeah. chase scene, but it was a big boat. It's how they got to uh, outer, outer Mortal so, Kombat land. Yeah. I accidentally outer stopped. Run. I accidentally stopped on this scene. I mean this this frame. Um, Alex wants to talk about something after this, but I do want to hit on how low the budget was, okay, and how it affected the way this movie worked and how it came out. Mm-hmm. They did not have a budget for a, a choreographer a fight choreographer. They didn't have a budget for stuntmen, really. So almost every scene we see them do a stunt, it's them. Clearly right here, it's them. Um, there's a scene... It doesn't matter. We're going to get pretty, to all of them. Pretty much throughout the whole movie. And you can see it also. It, it definitely becomes Ooh. glaring in the fight scenes where like Mark Dacascus fight scenes look incredible, incredible. and then Scott Wolf is just there doing oh, his like tum tum well, shit. And that went badly. On the first day of shooting, Mark sprained his ankle. Yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he had to wrap it G. because he was afraid to tell anyone because he thought he'd get fired. Yeah, he should have gotten fired. No, that's fine. Ah! So drinking game for this movie is to drink every time these two scream Scream. (laughs) together i I, I just want to change the name of the movie from double dragons to screaming dragons because every time (laughs) they're like it's your birthday and they're like oh we're gonna drive in a car (laughs) some bad guys oh like every single thing well you know I can't be mad at it. I mean, look, I was, I didn't even really notice it until I heard somebody else point it out. And I was like, oh, that actually is like, can't unsee. They say it probably like a hundred times. You'll be wasted if you drink every single time. <laughs> you do it. I will say the, the explosion is dope, but it's completely unnecessary. Like, why did the sign explode? Yeah. I, think I don't it was understand. It's supposed to be the boat like, exploded. Why did the boat explode? That's what oh. happens when you drive through science. I mean, come on. <laughs> Sim- simple boat physics, Bill. Have yeah. you never driven through a freeway sign on the ocean before? Well, the only thing I will give it is that they that they talk about the contaminated how, water. Yeah. Right, the contaminated yeah. water. So yeah. maybe that's an excuse. Yeah. But I like how they explode. This and- dude's doing the most. Uh, speaking of this explosion apparently they did this explosion uh they filmed this explosion in ohio and mm -hmm. i think it was like 32 different uh emergency uh, calls came in to the police because they were like yeah they're blowing things up yeah they shut down this entire fucking these white people blowing up shit again Uh, which i think this was right after the uh world yeah this is after the world trade center bombing yeah so people were like oh (laughs) <laughs> but they put out warnings on the local news the night before. Yeah, but don't nobody watch the also, news. Also, don't nobody watch that shit. <laughs> also, Ohio being Ohio, in real life, this river caught on fire a few times because yes. it got so fucking polluted. Yeah, oh, shit. Fact. That's insane. <laughs> That's a fact. Send in the diamonds for the medallion. We got them. Yeah, and y'all want to blame it on Los, Los Angeles. They were like, we, we, have a, we have a budget for a fire on the water. <laughs> And then the, 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 the actual fire in the water, like we can save money now. Like, all right. it's like I've heard of. Gets in your mouth, you get diarrhea for a week, and all your hair falls out. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised they didn't do a. <laughs> like I'm so surprised, man, that they didn't go for one right there. But, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. You know- Go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, I was just going to say, uh, you know, uh, since we're talking about these two gentlemen, what did you guys think of like Mark Dacascus and uh, Scott Wolf as the titular characters, the double dragons? Y'all feel like they had good chemistry? Um, you know, what, uh, Jeff, I'll let you go first. What did you think? There's a reason both my cousin and I wanted to be Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it's a pretty, it's, 
He didn't even get the strength medallion, and he was the and he was a uh, better at kicking people's ass. Yeah, I mean well, that's, like, why, that's probably why they gave him the other one. Like, <laughs> right? Um, like it'll be actually better when you get the soul medallion because you'd be able to whoop people's ass <laughs> <laughs> inside or outside of their bodies. Yeah, but no, I mean it's Billy's a, a schmuck, and he's the reason all the bad things happen to them in this movie. And Jimmy is the hero who. It's like in Beverly Hills Ninja with Liu Kang being the brother that's like right. helping him and protecting him and everything, but without the scene at the end where uh, Billy Chris Farley turns out to be a badass ninja. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, Scott yeah. Wolf is still Scott Wolf at the end. He's not yeah. the chosen one at all. Um, <laughs> he's not the I, great one I, ninja. He's not yeah, the he's not the, he is not. Um, but yeah, I didn't think that were believable. Like I saw him and I'm like, I'll believe it because it's in the movie, mm. but in real life, they not brothers, bro. Like they, because <laughs> I, I don't even know what their parents look like. If like I saw their parents, and one looked like one, and the other looked like the other. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, like I'm we saying. don't see. I I don't. I I no. I no context. Just know no nothing. I I think I completely agree. You know what they would be in high school? They would be in middle school and high school. We we would pick on them, like <laughs> until we knew. That they was really brought like we seen their parents together at the student right. meetings and PC the C what is it the PCT meeting PTA the, PTA the PTA. 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 <laughs> oh I, we was just always late so it was a CPT meeting <laughs> you're stuck on last night but, yeah you know what I'm talking about <laughs> but um but yeah you know what I'm saying we would have picked on them you know what I'm saying like boy y'all ain't no boy y'all boy y'all <laughs> y'all to stop hey. He said that they brothers. <laughs> Man, can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I weirdly did like, especially on this next, uh, this last rewatch, I did like their chemistry together, but I think it was mostly because Mark Dacascos was like doing a lot of heavy lifting. Like, right. beyond him being a great yeah. martial artist, he's a really good actor, and he's like making Scott Wolf better in every scene that they are in together. Um, where yeah. it makes it feel like they, they're, they're little, you know, Tit for tat, uh, relationship feels a little believable. Um, oh, but since we're always talking about like, does it hold up? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I always try to think about how this could have been made better. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if it was made today, or the idea is like we could we could put it out today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it was made today, I don't think that it would be either. I think it would it wouldn't be the the ah, man what I'm just looking for. So this movie wasn't fun, right? <laughs> right? It was clearly trying to be funny. So to me, it should have either been really funny, like "woo, mm -hmm. this shit is hilarious," or like when they realized that they didn't have a funny movie, try to give it a little more serious and get it darker. Mm -hmm. So that way, some of them jokes land a lot harder because it's like. Oh shit, that was corny, but you know, I wasn't I was like tight, and then he said something funny, so now I'm good. But like mm -hmm. the entire time in this movie, Scott Wolf get off about five bad jokes. Yeah. If he got off <laughs> three of them in the Apollo, the Sandman will come and scoop, 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 scoop <laughs> ass up out of there, man. Like, no, nah, it was I, well, so, yeah, well, I mean, but what do y'all think well, so, yeah, well, about the, so, the, yeah. temp the temperate, the temperate? template the well, temperature of this movie like you know what i'm saying how do y'all feel about how so, the vibe of this movie was real quick before we get there i got one last thing about scott wolf's casting one of the pieces of trivia in imdb is scott wolf is considered by double dragon fans and creators to be miscast as billy lee for being nothing like his character from the game lacking all traits such as being asian <laughs> muscular athletic and especially having no skills or training in martial arts. Mm. <laughs> That's great. I, I love that you could probably um, bunch those last three together. Like, <laughs> yeah. to, be fair, to be fair to him, to be fair. he could have been white and Asian because we ain't seen his parents. But everything else, Got no 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 defense for it, not at all. No, you know, yeah, because otherwise they would have pointed that out. In the, I think you can need two out of three. He doesn't have to be Asian because in the cartoon you got one of the brothers. He's got blonde hair. Like right. it don't matter. He got muscles and he can fight. 
Who cares if he's Asian? He's <laughs> but, the other guy's brother. And it's exactly. believable. We don't even know who their parents are. But like mm -hmm. if one of the parents has like maybe dirty blonde hair, then then the other one came out black and the other one came right. out blonde. OK, his cool, mama we got was German. Context. They mama was German <laughs> and they daddy was Chinese. Well, their mama's yeah. Satori. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> or is it Japanese? I don't even know. Yep. Like, it got to be Chinese. It got to be Chinese. Got to be Chinese. Yeah, like, it, it, yeah somewhere from... in China. <laughs> somewhere right. in China. Right. That's what I remember. Uh, the the prequel <laughs> is just their dad finding. I, I remember, <laughs> dog. I remember, dog. So, while we shit on Scott Wolf and his uh, unathletic, shit on him a little bit Let's more. Get... Wait, wait, wait. I want to get there. Question. Yeah, it's about the vibe. The vibe. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. The vibes. Talk about the vibes. You like, yeah, do you think it should have been more funny or darker? You know what I'm saying? It would have oh. been fine either way as long as they actually leaned into it appropriately mm -hmm. as opposed to trying to split it, you know? Mm, yeah. yeah. Like, do you feel pick, the same way? Pick a direction. This is like a, a pizza with this crust. It's too thin and it breaks <laughs> and it's brittle. And I don't like that shit. Yeah. Um, and then it's yeah. doughy on the other side. Just half Ew, of it. It's, it's nasty. Like uh, it ain't all the way through, but it's just, just like too this. Much on the... Yeah, right. this movie is like a, a pizza with bad crust. It's nasty. I don't want that shit. Like, what is wrong with your oven? How did you even make it like this? Um, but... You want to talk about the fight scenes next? Yeah, just yeah. Do okay, want to give a little bit of uh, flowers to our boy uh, Mark Dacascus. And uh, what's his name? And Al Leong, another Al Asian. Leong. Yes. And we talk about Al Leong, Al Leong mm -hmm. a lot yeah. on this show because he's in a lot. Like, I don't know when he stopped doing movies, but it's damn sure well into the mid, you know, the early 2000s. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, he was everywhere. Dude is a Asian all-star. That's a thing on this, this channel. We love Asian no, all-stars. Asian MVP. It was Asian All Stars. Is Asian All Stars? It's Asian All Stars. Well, we got MVPs. We yeah, we got, got we got MVPs and Asian All Stars. Bro, really, he did a movie in 2020. There you go. Oh, I'm just saying. I don't know. I, you know, yeah. I don't see him Dude, as much. Out here I don't know when they stopped. And it was rated him. better than this. I don't know when they stopped using him in like big feature films mm -hmm. or whatever but dude is an amazing actor Never. Gonna roll and i didn't even people. know he was nice with it like this with the martial arts oh yeah, i did yeah we gonna move on rose and deadwood footage oh. ah. look how he came out <laughs> ah. nigga, I ah. your ass up with this ah. 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 Now, this is yeah yes let's go yeah. let's go and this is oh, young Mark no. too. Man. No, let's not and go. This, let's stop. This is this. when it gets not good. No, wait. <laughs> now they go learning to. Let's just get the. Let's just get this out of the way because this is more Scott b bashing to go on. Because <laughs> this shit is ridiculous, dog. First of all, this motherfucker is. I just seen this right now. This yeah. motherfucker's mustache is falling out. <laughs> yeah, so <it's> like, <laughs> yeah. Yo, his tracks is falling out and his mustache is falling <laughs> off. He got a bad shoot day right now, man. Let me tell you. Also, something. they just and, and and they just named the henchman Huey Huey Lewis in the news. Like oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Right. or Huey Huey, Huey and Lewis. Lewis. He he named Huey, and I'm Huey like, Huey. no, Lewis, I thought that news? was a joke. I thought that was a joke, but like, no, that's their that's nah, their he keeps. Yeah, he call he keeps calling him that, and I'm like, bro, you just have little Chinese slaves, and you named them <laughs> Huey and Lewis, bro. Why? Huey, this Huey, is not nice. And, yeah, Huey so Lewis strange. in the news, man. You, I didn't like that. You know, <laughs> there's a couple more You're, jokes yeah, in there like correct. this, like that, and I'm gonna get to them jokes. I'm gonna get to them jokes, but uh, like Alex mentioned it earlier, Scott Wolf had Scott Wolf is Tom Tom. He's if you don't know who Tom Tom is, mm -hmm. check in. Two, three ninjas. Three ninjas. He attacks you with uh, jelly beans. You know, when we get it out. I mean, it should probably be <laughs> either almost out or, or out when this comes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who knows? But yeah, man, I just did not fuck with none of that bullshit, dog. The like, home alone. I, he does, he just home, home alone's his way to a draw every man, single time. Bro, we not even a got, win, just a draw. We could have <laughs> got <laughs> Macaulay Culkin for this as far as I'm concerned. Oh my God, that would have been amazing. He was like 14, yeah. <laughs> was like 14 years old when this yeah. came out. He just, like, he run just it. wrapped up Page Master. <laughs> He's like, run it. Um, I'll tell I'm you what. It. <laughs> you know how people are talking about, like, let's get a remake of Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin at this age, playing Kevin at that age? 
I would pay to see Macaulay Culkin as Billy and uh, Marcus Jimmy again. Oh, Just remaking this movie shot for shot. <laughs> now, yeah, no. If they took both of these, I look. If they took both of these actors and decided to remake this movie and do it good, I am pretty sure I would go watch this movie. I like, if I could still pull it off. Let me just ask y'all that. Yeah, let's pull that around. Let's 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 pull that off. If they put both of these actors in this movie, but then they got Scott Wolf like a fire stunt man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Would y'all go see this movie? I'll tell you what, I'd go see it if they shot for shot remade it with them now as playing them then. I wouldn't, yeah. But that you would make me you so wouldn't happy wanna, You wouldn't out. want to go see the new one where they do yeah. a sequel where they where they make these dudes or they just reshoot well, the movie. We just gonna what, reshoot the no, movie. No, because yeah, I want to see them reshoot do a the different movie. movie but it's gonna sequel, be the it's gonna be a it's gonna be triple dragon. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, we're we doing a retcon, but with the same actor. Mm. I would love it. <laughs> okay. It would not be good, it would not make money, but I would love it for how ridiculous the fact that they did that was. <laughs> I, think, I, would, like, I would respect their craziness right what about you boy i know you was gonna see it what you want what you gonna do blake i am not giving any of them my money <laughs> not even mark <laughs> i would give i would personally give mark like ask us like money not to do this I'm like, <laughs> Here, like, bro make better decisions <laughs> i will buy you a couple shots to give you a hundred bucks uh let's not do hey, this though, Blake and, go, and it's because Blake of the... do a cameo. He gonna do the cameo. I will pay you a cameo to just say <laughs> how much you don't want to do this movie. Just don't do it. And, and it's, we... it's because too, we've had this conversation about martial arts. Like you can't be, you can't have a martial arts now in movies that we have. Like John Wick, I think is a beautiful example of like beautifully choreographed, practical martial arts. Um, and and Ooh. I know that's very top of the line, but it's it's you can't go backwards now we already went forwards you can't go backwards and even if they want to keep it like silly martial arts like do a little gumball shit or whatever jackie chan would find right. a way to make this like so much better like so he'd be like oh better. you you want to throw gumballs at people i got Absolutely. an idea and it's gonna be way better than this shit yo I, you know what man you just see i love it when y'all are on the show because y'all bring a good you know different perspective you know what i'm saying and and it sparks my brain, you know what I'm saying? Like it gives me, it gets me fired up, gets me thinking shit. Wrinkles are mind grapes. No, it might wrinkle your <laughs> mind grapes, fall fool. Mine be getting crispy with the with the with the crease in the pants with it's sharp, it's so sharp it cuts your <laughs> leg up. If you bump into my leg, your leg gonna be messed up. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how it make it make me sharp. And I'll be thinking about shit like, why isn't Jackie Chan directing more like Fight. Why aren't people going to him to like, yo, why don't you, will you help me direct this fight scene? Will you be my assistant director on this? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, he's still are, why do not, why do people, he barely acts though, bro. Like, he did a movie last he, year, this year. Yeah, no, I'm just saying he, he don't, he don't bop, 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 right. act no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm he, just talking about like, he, did like he turned, he turned down everything everywhere all at once. They went to him first with that movie. That's so, crazy. I'm just saying, like, why not get him to, like, still be a part of the culture? Or Jet Li or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, these guys have aged out of those roles and mm -hmm. physically, but, You like, know, the reason is, is, like, the people that they would be training to do these roles, mm -hmm. they have no martial, like, no martial arts foundations mm -hmm. to be able to try and even... You got to teach somebody stance. You got to teach somebody how to actually throw a kick, how to throw punches. Like, the amount of time that you would spend... They'd be like, we've already, we already, we already done shooting the movie. Like, we ain't got time for all this shit. Like, right. you, you, you <laughs> to, to choreograph something just in the way that they do it and the mm -hmm. way, like, the whole style of how they do it, you got to have the the fundamentals down first. And a lot of these fools ain't got none of the fundamentals. They want to throw a punch. They want to throw a kick, and then be like, ta da! I did some shit. And it's like, <laughs> bro, I this. no. And this is this is why in between the John, I'm gonna bring it back to. Keanu Reeves, in between the John Wick movies, this fool trained jujitsu. This fool trained kickboxing. This fool trained a weapons. Like he wanted it to look real. He wanted it to be real, and so it takes practice on practice on practice to be able to to do that. And so 
I'm I'm glad Jackie Chan is. Maybe they have approached him, and he's like, "Nah, y'all too white for me to be teaching y'all this shit." <laughs> that of, sounds like a lot of secrets work. of the ooze. Yeah, I yeah, can't be know, teaching you none of the shit. I don't know. I don't know that that's happened. That's a great point. But we're about to show a clip. Before we show that clip, because it's 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 a Marky Mark uh, clip. I'm gonna call him Marky Mark. I call him Marky Mark <laughs> when we out together. And I don't want to sure. call him. I don't, you know, maybe that's. I don't want y'all. Y'all like, can't call him Marky Mark. I don't know if he knows <laughs> y'all like that. But I call. <laughs> I call him. Yeah, I've earned it with shots and partying. You know what I'm saying? And, and loose women. So, this is, <laughs> but um, Bill won his respect we, by winning a uh, winning a, bet, a match against him. You know? Yeah, I have to ask because you know our our we have a resident fight expert on the show you know what i'm saying so i have to ask him before Jeff. we mo- i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been real y'all I'll, I'll see y'all later uh goodbye yeah. i don't know about you guys i haven't heard from blake in two weeks <laughs> <laughs> no because i want to ask you blake like first of all what happened to your thumb and if okay, it's not inter- hold on and if it's things. not interesting or if it's personal you don't have to share it but if it is interesting and you do want to share it you can go ahead and share it oh this took place at a boxing gym i go i train actual boxing, i knew I, so. I know that's why I'm, that's see i, I kind of <laughs> figured that but that's why i segueing into my shit so go ahead and tell us what happened to your hand. What happened to it? <laughs> I, I will tell you, this took place at a boxing gym, but it's it's not going to be anything of what you think happened. Right before I was in a, a training session, I it was a, it was a new gym that I hadn't been to. Uh, Richard Lords, he's an amazing, he, like one of Austin's amazing trainers. He's trained a lot of fighters, and I just hadn't been to that gym ever. So I was going to have a training session with my buddy Marcus, who's a professional fighter. And on my way to the restroom, I tripped and fell and fell on my thumb right before oh. training. Damn, that stinks. So yeah, these two guys were talking shit and Blake <laughs> beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> God damn. Well, let me tell you, when I broke my uh, fifth metacarpal, uh, mm-hmm. otherwise known as a Mayweather fracture, bar, bar boxing fracture, yep. I told everybody all kind of lies. So just, tell, <laughs> just make up all kind of shit, man. Be like, yo, yeah, I'm a stunt man. I was like... <laughs> I was like, you know, on this set. Oh, what movie? I can't tell you that because, you know, you know how the writer strike is going on. NBA I can't is. tell you right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actor strike going on. I can't really tell you. A little you. secret C right there, baby. Yeah, I can't even get into it like that. Hey, ba- baby girl, you know what I'm saying? You won't want them behind the scenes. But look, I, you know what? I got some movies I can show you in the crib that I've been in. <laughs> can't see my face because I'm a stunt man. You know what I'm saying? But I can show you the ones that I've been in. And you see my a, back a lot and my arms. <laughs> you know what I'm just, just, oh shit! Did you sorry. guys hear? Bill fought a Wendigo. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> now we are gonna get our most recent Jimmy Lee, Ooh. aka Mark, <laughs> <laughs> aka his real name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mark. I, I, I know. I just couldn't even finish it because that's just ridiculous. AKA. We talking about Home Lee? We talking about Home Lee, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Only versus Sub Zero. Oh, kill the bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh nice. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you should really get a weapon, sick. man. You will not see anything that, that impressive in Double Dragon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, we had to give you a little something like that so that you, we, because this ain't none of this shit going. But we here's the crazy show, thing: we've already For shown pe- you the best fight scenes in this movie. We just showed it already. <laughs> the crazy thing is, though, for people who are just like Mark DeCastle looks really good. Does he do martial arts? He's an actual like real life martial artist yes and oh, yeah. prior i think it was shortly before this or right around this was a movie he did called only the strong where he not like he does capoeira in the movie and it's fucking incredible to see oh, yeah. that seems like because it because it, it's such a oh yeah. you know that an means. obscure um capoeira is a, a brazilian martial art um mm-hmm. oh you know what that means okay not uh, for brazilian jiu-jitsu they're different 
It's absolutely no, different. Yeah, no, explain uh, it for the people. No, Cap- Capoeira, explain it for the people. Yeah, Capoeira is a Bra- Brazilian martial art based on um, like African dancing um, and gym- like essentially gymnastics. Uh, and they had to hide the fact that they were doing martial arts in training because it was illegal uh, for slaves to own weapons or anything like that. So they developed this martial art and they hit it with dance moves. Mm-hmm. And it is incredibly like the moves are incredibly powerful and unique and it takes a lot of like core strength and just it's it, it, a lot of flexibility it's not very like practical in like a yeah you know, cage fight situation which is why you don't see a lot of people doing capoeira <laughs> shit but like a wheel kick here and there like oh that, that shit is in crazy incredible but the fact that he jumps over from a martial art um like anything like karate or anything like that i i, for, I don't know exactly which one he's um, you know, very familiar with, mm. but to hop over from a, from an Eastern art into something like that and look fluid while you're doing it, that for me, when I saw, it, I was like, that's incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> yeah. So he's a he's a true and true try, tried and true martial artist. Yeah, absolutely. He's incredible. Like, and one of the reasons we always say Asian All Stars on doesn't hold up because one of the things about like revisiting these older movies, you see how there's this like weird almost boom of uh, like show giving minority actors their flowers like you see like a lot of great actors going to like uh, roles going to these black and brown uh, and asian actors uh for like a little bit and then like uh hollywood's like nah we'll just take that back and give it back to the well uh, you know what they did was this this is what uh hollywood does man hollywood Wait, wait. No, no, I just like the way you, you the exasperated yes. guy is like, oh, God damn it, I hate Hollywood. Like, you know, the, I get the, exasper- <laughs> you know I get the exasperated side is from uh, Ed O'Neill, man, from goddamn oh. Married with Children. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just like, so what they do is they'll say, well, they placate to the people. You know what I'm saying? They do it with women now because that's what's, that's what's hot popping right now, women. You know, they do it with trans community. That's what's popping right now, trans. But at that time, it was Asian Americans, right? Because of the um, Asian, the, the ninja boom. So we got to get an Asian to put in this movie. And uh, instead of trying to build an actual character or instead of trying to, like, fund that movie with, like, a big budget, instead, they decided, hey... We're going to just so it's like basically like, let's give them a nigga budget and then we'll <laughs> just put the movie out. You know what I'm saying? Like, because seven million dollars, I bet you, I bet you there's a Robert Townsend movie that caught that, that had a budget bigger than seven million dollars. That's really, and, and that's an independent, like, that's Robert Townsend money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's, that's an independent, yeah, yeah, that's out of his own pocket. So, I, I'm just saying, like, dude, seven million dollars to make a movie that's supposed to be an action movie that's yeah. not enough to hire. Uh, and you know, when the reason I'm pointing out the action movie part is because a lot of those Asian parts went to like kung fu movies Mm -hmm. action movies and if you're not gonna give that like seven million dollars that's not enough to get a fight choreographer that's not enough you spending most of that on your on your cast yeah if your cast is worth a damn yeah like you're that's that's gonna be and it was worth a damn and i'm so glad we had that conversation because i want to talk about the best actor in this movie (laughs) oh the most the most beautiful person in this movie and mm. one of the bigger like pioneers of what we call the me too movement in the yeah United robert States. patrick <laughs> <laughs> no beat me by a second Jeff. no you beat, <laughs> you beat me because i was gonna say um army hammer but <laughs> <laughs> but no <laughs> I'm gonna run. I know that's what all of you were thinking about out there in in the world, but no, I'm talking about Alyssa. Milano. I'm still in love with her. 
Still in love. So much in love with you. I'm not acting. Yeah, I'm going to actually play this because you know what? Alex left, but that's just his fault because I got to hear. I got to see. This is motherfucking funny. Now for the last time, why is Shuko uniting them? I told you everything. He used you. Why are you protecting him? I need to get into Shuko's like, headquarters. Okay? Spinach ain't going down that too, man. That, that, whatever it is, he don't like it. Whatever <laughs> it is, he don't like it. Yeah, it's spinach, and you know what? You should like your spinach, kid. It'll <laughs> make you strong. Pop, pop <laughs> out, man. Pop out, eat the, the spinach, and you get the you get. Oh, shit. Hercules, Hercules. That's yeah, you what get it is. The, the muscles, man. See, my muscles are so big, I can't hit not hit this goddamn microphone. <laughs> hit him with that man? flex. They're gonna be begging but for yeah, some more. Uh, they gave well, Alyssa before, a well, you know stupid what? costume. Hold on, hold on, still Jeff, looks amazing. Jeff, I'm gonna let you mm-hmm. just rock right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. You had let him some, cook. Let him cook. You're the only one who has some emotions when I said then you actually knew who I was talking about before I even said what I was saying. So I'm gonna let you cook right now. What let did you cook. feel mm. about Miss Alano? Oh god, I mean, come on, she is just the best part of this movie. Outside of Mark, obviously. But I mean, she's she was also like pretty big at this time, right? Like she didn't haven't had any big roles for a while, but like Look, she still had her hold on. who's the boss and everything. We don't fat shame here, sir. Do. <laughs> we don't uh, body shame. We don't let me tell you wide, right? That girl only had fat in a couple parts of her body, and they were good parts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm-hmm. All the right place. They gave her such a stupid <laughs> outfit. They gave her like a, a, a spray paint multicolored trench coat, and even that couldn't hide how hot she is. <laughs> he is a gorgeous woman then. She is a gorgeous woman now. And Alyssa, I'm sorry you have to listen to me talk to you, talk about you like this. Yeah, well, you know what? We're going to be nothing but respectful because Alyssa Milano is definitely a friend of the show. Also, friend of the show, Puff Daddy, and also friend of the show, uh, Mark McGuire. But that's <laughs> none of these have none of these things have do, nothing to do with each other. But you know what I'm saying. I'm just trying. To I like how you talk about how respectful. <laughs> it's like we're gonna be nothing but respectful. We zoom in on her birth canal. <laughs> <laughs> I was, we were zooming in on her booty. Okay, I, birth canal's I, funnier. I do have to. Booty, 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 booty. I do have to judge her character though. She went okay. for Billy over Jimmy. Come on. Very poor choice. Girls make bad decisions. Well, What's I'm going to tell you, especially in the 90s, man, especially in the 90s, women is not fucking with no Asian dude in the 90s. I wanna, in I television, break up. in movies, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how Hollywood work, man. <laughs> I want to break up this talk a little bit and go to one of my favorite things about this movie I just noticed today. And hopefully this is the first time you guys are noticing this as well. Um, Alex, if you wouldn't mind fast forwarding this movie to 23... 49 or rewinding it whatever it is that you're you're doing and where you're at because this movie i think tried to do some things that if it would have kept it up if it would have like harped down on it this would have, we we could have been, been like damn they were trying to okay i see what you're trying to do uh you 2349 yeah, dude, I went back and fucking nailed this shit. <laughs> like, I actually <laughs> landed on twenty three forty nine. Like, I was just fast forwarding real hard with the the, okay. the left button. Okay, oh, God. look at that so, shit. That shit landed on twenty. It's, it's actually it's actually a little bit behind that because this is a bootleg one on on YouTube. So rewind oh, yeah, it, it maybe. Uh, let let that play just a second. I think. No, 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 no. Before that. So like 10 seconds before that. 10 oh, seconds before that. Back. Let that play. Um, it's it's the dad is at the table. I want the okay, dad to okay. be at the table. I know what you're talking about. The, the dad at the table. This is a before. Right here, right here. Okay, pause, pause, pause. Look at what this box says. These are Shuko Krispies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I, I never, never noticed, noticed it until today. I, I never noticed like, that. And, the, and, oh, look, and they're all wearing their sunglasses. They got the sunglasses. Oh my God, they're all wearing so sunglasses. Sad. Crackle and fuck. <laughs> it's out here working for the man. Oh, my God. God that's never funny. Damn. They would have 
gone down like Shuko owns the electricity company. Shuko oh. owns Hollywood. Sh- Shuko owns cereal. Like if they would have had Shuko commercials, right. this would have been so much better because you're like, mm-hmm. this guy has his fingers in all the things. And but they just the leave this little can Easter egg. Be mad right, right here, like dad can be mad. Cause he's seeing Shuko everywhere yeah. on TV. He's seeing right, like right. Shuko well, old but... Shuko Fruity Loops. <laughs> I wish the cereal <laughs> wasn't so delicious. God damn right. it. Shuko well, Loops. he doesn't know Shuko's the bad guy. Right. Oh yeah. No, he doesn't know that until they're meeting. No, he doesn't. But we talking about the retcon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he don't know. He don't know her. Gotcha. You know, he don't. He don't know what's going on here. Which Daddy is- doesn't know. Daddy, Daddy doesn't, doesn't know. know. <laughs> he don't know nothing. He don't know his daughter <laughs> got a wig on. Come on, dog. You don't know your daughter Bro, is wearing a wig, cuz. I mean, wild. complete strangers know that's a fucking wig. Right. Yeah, like, you are bad. a wild boy, Papa Do. Yeah, I just wanted um, to bring that up. But can we talk about Shuko for a second? Because we uh, talked about it, these man. shitty characters Robert enough. Patrick. I want to talk about Robert talk about Patrick own, yeah, owning and loving and being just like the most incredible corny bad guy that's like ever Absolutely. corny bad guy. He's still he, very proud of this performance. Actually. actually, yeah, he he talks about it with reverence, not with shame. <laughs> Lives have been spent searching for the legendary double dragon. Also, pause this real quick. Now. He he has been telling the story for like five minutes, like bro, like because <laughs> yes. he started the, the narration. Intro of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's three minutes and fifty five seconds right here that he's been talking about this whole go- this goddamn medallion. It's like the intro to wonder... every episode of How I Met Your Mother or is Robert Townsend just keeps telling this story, a different part of the double dragon story. But I also I wonder think if, about oh, if, God. I was gonna say, I wonder if the henchmen just finally they've heard the story so much, they're like, fine, we're gonna go find this shit. So you can stop telling the <laughs> garbage ass story. <laughs> and now Kill they got back. Lewis. Now they got back, yeah. they like Damn, man, we just got back from around the world with this damn medallion. <laughs> open up the medallion, nigga. Open up the box. <laughs> Tell the story. How many times yeah. have they heard the story? And how much better is it him playing this villain after coming off of the T-1000? T- T- yeah. Right? This is after <laughs> yeah. Terminator. Yeah. yeah. Y'all understand that this man right T-T here was 91. Is, has been oh, killing yeah, it yeah. for forever, dog. Like, oh, yeah. What he was just recently in Peacemaker, right? Yeah, yeah, and he's the, the dad, dad. Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. racist, uh, the racist supervillain, racist Papa Dude. He's great, he's White smoking black a mile, though. You know what I'm saying? You see that? It's not a cigarette <laughs> in the cigarette holder, that's a black a mile in the cigarette a holder. You know what I'm talking Man, about? Or a you duck. guys remember yeah. the cigarettes from Fifth Element? This yeah, much filter, yeah, this much <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> that's how they should be today. Because I want to get to this goddamn <laughs> the powers of this medallion. Because I'm going to another scene with him in it, but <laughs> it turns, him, the other half. It turns like, him into the '80s music video from Aha, uh-huh, like "Take <laughs> on Me." Take on Me. <laughs> you know what? That's what it is. This took him. This took him on. Take me on. Can you back up to the desk again? See, that's what he said right there. <laughs> they dubbed in the other thing. Obviously. Uh, Jeff, you said take it back to the desk? Yeah, it's just... Does he have just like a... Like, what's that little thing? That's Reader's Digest. Like yeah. that, but then... Is that like a little like fro- glass frog or some shit? Does he have it just like, like a cute little... Oh yeah, peachy paper oh, holder, yeah. like a little paperweight. Yeah. Oh, like yeah, yeah, he's paperweight. taking over the world. Reading, but yeah. is, that's, is, is that not Reader's Digest? Around. That's Reader's Digest. Is. is that not? I it so. says. I, I honestly something. think it is. It definitely starts with an R, and that second word could definitely be a D. Yeah, that's crazy. So that just makes me so happy. Y'all put it in the comments if you see that that is Reader's Digest, or if you are nerdy enough to have already known. Blessings of frog paperweight. I'm going to go to another scene, but Alex, what did you think about his performance as Suko? Or what was his real name? Old girl knew his real Gaisan. name. Oh, What'd yeah. Gaisan, right? Guys, No, it was Gaisan or something. No, his real name like was something. Richard Gaisan, right? Richard Gaisan, yeah. Gaisan, yeah. Richard Gaisan. Yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was uh he was great. Uh yeah, uh, an inexplicably Asian name for this very white dude. Um, but yeah, like it's or I guess they did explain it just I guess they just he didn't want to be poor. He, yeah. He's been he was like old. nobody wants to hang out with Richard Geisen. So you know it's in, like in Asians. In interviews, Robert Patrick said that his character was the reincarnated um Japanese warlord of Shuko. And I'm like, well, that I I like that you said that. Can we just put more context like that in the movie? So that <laughs> yeah, way, right? Just all right. That. That's not something that was in the script at all. No, uh, I think that's, that's something that he was, came he up with like... in his head. To make it <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was his motivation for the role. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I thought he was, you know, he definitely had a great performance throughout. There's like, def- especially some really funny stuff when he gets taken over by the the brothers at the end <laughs> that I really enjoy. Um, but speaking toward that and uh, Zuko and all that shit. Is um, Zuko is Zuko, right? Yes. Because or, no, or, I don't know. no, I think it's I think it's Zuko. It's Koga Shuko. It's, yeah, Koga, Koga Shuko. Shuko. But the dad in uh. The scene where um, the scene where they're police trying to chief? steal the medallion, and the police chief is in there talking to him. I think he says Suko. Mm. Well, surprise, surprise! The old white guy can't pronounce the foreign name. Correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it like that, but you know what? <laughs> Valid. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag me too. Hashtag <laughs> <right>. <laughs> We've been apart. Far too oh, long. Too. I wonder if they did. Oh, he wants to fuck. Before. Yeah, that was dirty. Or, or if they they used to. That was nasty. Yeah, that would have been good. That would have been. Yo, that, that would have been a, a great element. Yeah, this is great. I liked. I liked. If they know, were I, lovers. Yeah, well, that if they were lovers, ooh. that would have made sense because, as we talked about before many times, me and Alex, um, nobody knows what the fuck's uh what's her name again satori 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 yes satori 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 Satori. she's never explained as like what she is like what she is to them what she does for them she never says how she knew they daddy she never says any they never say anything about her mom is she they mom oh i don't know what's just going i don't know what's going on man do y'all know what's going on Y'all know what's going on. With I, I think she's their mom. Yeah, well, it would make sense if she was mm-hmm. like narratively. Um, yeah. And they even put like a little gray streak in her hair to make. Yeah, I was going to say. This, this will make her. Yeah. Older. Well, make but old. Shuko's got the black and the, the white hair. A little more of a connection with them. They go to the same shitty hairdresser. Maybe that would be cooler if they was like brother and sister or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just didn't like their how they just brothers and they're singing the, and they're the only Asian Probably. woman they had in the movie they <laughs> underutilized to death. Like they literally to death. She died. They fridged <laughs> yeah. the shit out of her. They really did. Yeah, they fridged her hard. And yeah. The yeah, another and to y'all's point, the another relationships are really real. It does seem like her and uh Robert Pattinson Robert Pattinson. Robert um <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. Uh, it does seem like they knew each Roger, other. Robert Pattinson, Robert Patrick Pattinson out here catching strays. <laughs> hey, they're, I, I love them both as actors. Um, <laughs> she, um, uh, but yeah, like they, it seems like they had some sort of past, but we don't really know what it is. Uh, it's just all just terribly executed. Mm-hmm. Um, she also doesn't pass the uh, Bechdel test. Yeah, she didn't talk to Nan, another lady in this whole movie. No, she might oh. talk to Alyssa Milano, but I mean, like. No, I two words. She, talked, she fights the white girl, right? Yeah, she talked. I think I she may have said Lash? to her. Yeah, yeah. But so I mean, but the part of that's it just, is like it needs to be a conversation that's not about the men, right? At the I mean, end, I don't think like, that counts. <laughs> my man wants the medallion. One of the <laughs> 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 well, my boys won't let him have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta uh, talk about. One of my favorite characters, maybe my favorite character. He's definitely been a member of Does It Hold Up previously. Yeah. He was in the shadow as well, playing a Hmong dynasty yeah, just like henchmen. soldier yeah. henchman dude, Genghis Khan henchman or some shit. It was really weird, but clearly <laughs> this dude's not 
Chinese. I don't know. Maybe he is. I think he's Native American. Native American. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, but he's from the uh, Mohawk tribe. A Bobo. <laughs> the Mohawk tribe. Yeah. Bobo. Tribe. Bobo. A Bobo. <laughs> Which this character is also supposed to be from the video games. Yeah. Yes, right, he yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. May I see some identification? Uh, well, you know what? I left him in my other pants. Handle it, Hawk. Uh, 50 bucks, I man. love that. We accept all major credit cards, including American Hey, Express. I'm the big scary guy, but I'm going to have the little boy. <laughs> Be like, yeah. give me the money. And I, love, I also love that they're asking for their license and registration first. It's like, oh, if you don't have your license and registration, man, you got to come up off some money. <laughs> you know how this works. Give me some bread. <laughs> they're weirdly responsible. If you had passed um, the test, I want to let you go. But I mean, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you didn't come prepared. Uh, Blake, what did you think of a Bobo in this? Like the actor and the character, how he was used as a villain. Yeah, he's just a big bully, bro. And that's that's all he. I don't. Yeah, I, he's just a big bully and he's stupid. <laughs> and <laughs> like, and, you, and, as soon as you said he was a bully, that's the scene. That came yeah, out. He's yeah, he's a fucking bully, head. bro. Like it's a typical '90s bully. They're like, "Can we get a '90s bully?" And they're like, "There's not a character like that in Double Dragon." And somebody like played the video game. And they're like, "There's just a Bobo guy." And they're like, "What if he was a big bully before he had all the muscles? And he still got muscles. And he drives a big old like 18 wheeler truck, like a semi." And they're like, "Yeah, that 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 ramps up the bully." Yeah, he um, did. Yeah. Well, what if? What, yeah, well, I just wanna, exactly. I want to point out that this this. Car that scene, though. This car that they're driving in, the the double dragon, mm. they runs on trash can. This is the, clearly they garbage. clearly they boosted this from the Ghostbusters, and then they made it somehow <laughs> run <laughs> off. Of <it. laughs> yeah. Oh, and because of that, this car is a moving garbage campfire. So it it, it <laughs> up. <laughs> Much like this movie, a it's a moving garbage can fire. <laughs> no, so are you, you saying the car is better because it can move and while the movie doesn't? No, what he's saying <laughs> is if you have a trash can fire in your movie, the drunk banthas slash doesn't hold up rules are you gotta, you take, gotta a take a shot. shot. I wish I had my shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take mm. I'll pour some more alcohol in my uh can I yeah. use a shot glass? Uh you can use a shot glass. <laughs> I, for people out there, I just want to be upfront. We have broken down this movie before, and we spent thirty minutes of it breaking down the scene with the cars and oh, how yeah. ridiculous the like tracking yes. system and <laughs> like the VR oh. in it oh. is. How trash the oh, whole Blake. thing is, and we're gonna do that right now. I was gonna say, oh Blake, <laughs> oh Blake, it ain't yeah. over, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you done fucked up now. <laughs> Ooh. And now you done did it, Blake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we can actually like oh God. share the shit. <laughs> oh God. And I love what saves them. Don't let him cut us off. Stoke the fire, Billy. Stoke cheese whiz. The, the can of Come cheese whiz. Jimmy. Yes, man. Because cheese that... whiz is not only not good for you. Which... <laughs> also though but it's combustible. Also, Jimmy's in like a giant oh, chasing. God. And it's not until someone's like, hey, maybe you should push the, the pedal down. But he's like, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also, also, too, I think the car is a representation of our bodies, right? Because when you put Cheese Whiz in it, it also comes out with flames. <laughs> right. On the other <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, if you ain't got your life, to, if, look, if you don't have your life together and you don't want to spend a lot of money, go get you some Cheese Whiz when you, instead of going getting that like regular cheese. Let me tell you something. To change your life. I just helped you out. You're welcome. Bro, those things are like four and a half dollars now for that little fucking can. It oh really is unnecessarily expensive. That's crazy. Yeah. It, it used to be, be like 99 cents. It used yeah, to be like 99 cents yeah. back in the day. Me and Alex used to just mm -hmm. that, yeah, yeah. put that shit in our mouth like Weasel from uh, Goof, Goofy Movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The leading so they, tower of cheese up. Cheese up. <laughs> so they like, uh, shout out to Paul Shore. They put, they, they lose visual. And they use a camera to. I got. Sorry, guys. This fucking music sucks. I got to fuck that shit. They got, yeah, please I got to get off that shit. So yeah, um, they somehow they start turning it into a video game to 
a, like move everywhere. Yo, son, what's the point of the 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 telescope or the periscope? Yeah, if they got the bumper cam, if they if they got the goddamn camera where they can watch it like it's a goddamn uh, <laughs> yeah. navigator. That camera is not what's being displayed on. Like this isn't what the camera is showing. <laughs> not, oh, man, man. Like what is this it's fucking video game? What is this it's bumper cam? That's a bumper cam. Dude, we know that this, this is. This looks like Firefox. Remember Dude, Firefox? This looks oh, yeah, Star like... Fox. Star Fox. Me, Star <laughs> Fox. Y'all remember Star Fox? Star this Fox looks too. like an episode of Reboot when they're like, Ooh. oh no, the graphics aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Reboot at its worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I think That's you That's when Reboot's like, like, there's a virus. Well, I think when I was in I middle also, school and I went to computer class, I think we could make stuff like this. Yeah, I was going to say, also, this, this is, remember... This is what they thought the graphics were going to look like in 2007. Like, <laughs> yeah. right, yeah, right. Somewhere Nintendo like <laughs> was over there laughing. Some, some Asian, uh, uh, some Asian oh. corporation or corporate executives, right. excuse me, were over in Nintendo going, <laughs> <laughs> "Look at this shit! Look at this shit! Know? We, we already got the know. shit." <laughs> I'm gonna have to play me some uh, N64 now because yeah. you know. You know, what, uh, I, I just looked this, this up. Uh, 2007 is also the year that Beowulf came out, so they weren't that, <laughs> they weren't that far off. <laughs> wow. Beowulf and Saw, Saw three. Oh yeah, Saw yeah Saw came out the same. Well, Saw, Saw three. three? It was Saw. Yeah, what Saw? Saw, oh, Saw came four. Out. Oh, they, were on wait, they were wait, on. Wait for maybe wait for the DVD release for Saw Town, guys. Oh uh, no 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 no. Oh no no I know. Alex already saw it. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, so and, Alex um, agrees. Gotcha. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and I don't care if you don't, you do now. Saw 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 does it hold up? You know, oh. I got we got to check the Rotten Tomato score on that. Saw. Yeah, that. I, that I, I don't think really it's got a one. bad score though. It's the problem. Saw does. I that's the yeah, you know yeah. it, it doesn't have to have a bad score. It has to have a melancholy score, or just bad, like this, movie. <laughs> <laughs> like this movie. Um, what else are we gonna talk about? I forgot. Uh, oh yeah, oh, we're just, still what? talking. about no, yeah, we're still talking about. Us. Like, so I'm still talking about this ridiculousness. Yeah, cheese us, cheese us. <laughs> cheese. Oh, saws on boys. Saws on boys. Oh my gosh. So fast. <laughs> <laughs> I also love how sure they are they're not going to have to turn anytime soon. Hold on. This is on 8th Street? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the street. Name. I mean, I but it's Eighth Street LA. in New Angeles. Familiar. Well, this is definitely in Los Angeles, and I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. Place. It's it's New Angeles. Where he told you. <laughs> you gotta pay attention, man. Are you not listening? I definitely know that bridge. It's like an over. Also, I like the he's idea like that they took that turn with the fire coming out. Right. I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> like they're not gonna see him with that fire coming out. <laughs> That's what, Cheese Whiz does to you. That's what Cheese Whiz does to you. I know that was it my does. accident, but imagine if they put that in the fucking thing. I'm trying to get to uh, Alyssa Milano's yeah. first mm. introduction here. Now, I do like this scene only because, and the only reason I would bring up this fucking useless scene is, man, I felt some Ninja Turtle vibes when yeah. this happened. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, go, I go. definitely got the, the foot vibes you know what i'm saying yeah. like but this is the good foot you, know you what want I'm regular so, get, so get on it baby get on your good foot <laughs> the power uh, core <laughs> i'll be a power core for halloween that could be cool so be like fun. am i supposed to believe <laughs> that they were literally like just just sitting up here <laughs> waiting on somebody to just drive by. And just <laughs> the wall. Yeah, everyone like, else is pissed because they're like, "We've been here for five hours. <laughs> I'm hungry. No one's showing up tonight. <laughs> oh, Shut up. We're gonna, we'll kick you out of the group." <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some vibes of like you know that first 15 minutes of ninja turtles where sam rockwell is showing everybody the ropes uh it's like you can smoke cigarettes and eat burger king it's great uh so it's, it's definitely you that know, same like kind of that feels like this same dude, group hell of people. scared look you i guess the power core is bad with it because look at him that reaction tells you <laughs> I mean, that on. reaction tells you you don't want to be fucking with the power core 
when the yeah. mohawk starts shaking, you uh, better start running. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but you know what that scene's really, really like? The first episode of the Ninja Turtles cartoon, the 80s mm-hmm. one. Because if you remember, when April's talking about the crime wave and everything, they show people like spray painting graffiti and they spray it over a dude. And then like he like opens his eyes and you see peek, peek, and he just walks away from the wall coming out of the graffiti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot about that. I, I watched that the first part. episode a few days ago, actually. Mm-hmm. And we found out that Uncle Phil is the voice of Shredder. Yes. Which was a Did great you also, also find Uncle out. Phil, hold on, Uncle Phil is also the voice of the double dragon cartoon like he played he plays their big um the gentle giant wrestler, guy, yeah. gentle giant character. their uh their e-honda <laughs> right <laughs> yeah he, he um he uncle phil plays him and he might also play the shadow master i'm just not sure uh, i didn't look so it up awesome. yeah Asian All Star uh, James Avery. Uh. <laughs> Yo, because like I'm James Avery keep getting all these Asian roles. Me and Alex got a theory that he's not. We we figure like he went into his uh ca- his casting call and he went in. And he was like, they asked him a couple questions. Like, oh, actually, I am half Asian. I'm actually half Chinese. Excuse me. But, uh, I'm also half Japanese. So <laughs> like, wait, you're not black? <laughs> no, I'm not black at all. I'm just actually I go tanning all the time. I'm, and I'm large and I'm fat, so people just think I'm black because they're racist. I'm actually, I'm, just, I'm actually just Japanese and 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 Chinese. Well, you got a great I, look. Would you like to play a black father for 15 years? <laughs> I, could, I could do that. Yeah, I could. I could yeah, do, I could do it. it. I could do it. You it's a little what? racist, but I'll take the job. I can. I can play black. I can play black for sure. Like. <laughs> He's in a limo fucking signing a contract. No one will ever know, kid. No one will ever know. Sign I me. Mean, can you switch my wife out after a year? Because then I'd be totally. <laughs> it was in the contract. Yeah, uh, but did you ever watch the. So speaking of that 80s Ninja Turtles show, did you ever watch the 2012 Ninja Turtles show? <clears throat> no. No. I've heard good things. I had respect. And it, it is good. Mostly. The no, Donatello, it's, the, it's actually really good. The voice of Donatello on that one is the voice of Raph in the 80s. Oh, shit. That's rad. I and they know. do a scene where they go through, like, the Ninja Turtle multiverse, and they run into the 80s Ninja Turtles. And, like, <laughs> when they're walking away, Donatello's like, God, their Raph just sounded like such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So just fun, fun oh, little stuff. great. Yeah. yeah. That, um... Oh, never mind. I forgot what I was going to say about the Ninja Turtles. Because, you know what? Let's not talk about the Ninja Turtles. Let's talk, we need to about, talk how about this movie. Ridiculous uh, this fucking yeah. movie is. Y'all try to okay. y'all try to get away from this movie because y'all don't want it. Y'all don't want it in your face. <laughs> but we're going back to another character, um, Alyssa Milano. But we're not really going oh. to Alyssa Milano. We're just gonna get the pleasure of seeing her in this scene. The <laughs> attempt to steal the other medallion. Now, this was all dumb. I mean, this is all <laughs> pretty bad. Um, there are Start no vents. Gang war. there are no vents that are this large. Maybe in 2007, there were vents that were this large, and you could fit people yeah. in them, and they That's could how you power those them. huge fans. You know, you right, right, days. right. Duh. Why do you I'm, think commercial I real forgot. estate got so expensive in 07? I forgot. You know, y'all are right. I'm glad I got y'all here. That's why we can't do. Does it hold up alone? So what's the plan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bobo's gang net link with false information, so it seems like the maniacs are getting an unfair share of the profits. And once I download this into Shuko, by the way, all those numbers were the same. (laughs) (laughs) It looks like they're getting an unfair share of the profit. They all looked like either five or eight. Let's go back. You don't know how to drop a pie chart. Also, I want to see the names of these gangs. No, no, no. Look at the numbers. Yeah, wait, wait, wait for it. Gang net. It's. (laughs) Weekly what? cash disbursements. distribution uh, disbursements, yeah. The Mohawks, the post five, five, I mean, oh it, my it, god, they, they, they have the, the exact post- thing because we post- we're going thing. to get to him for sure. <laughs> we're gonna get to him. <laughs> <No idea. laughs> I didn't know it was a group of people, I thought it was just that one weird guy, but no, no it is. I mean, yeah, I guess airmail, but no. so we got the maniacs, the geeks. 
and what is the, the clown? The glowers? The, clou- the clowns. The clowns. Okay. I saw one of the clowns uh, commit suicide in the third act. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, he realized what movie he was acting in. This movie, man. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to this, and then I'm gonna go to one other stunt moment that I um that I, uh, I want to get to. You control the day. Oh God, no. You're right, that's how I feel at this movie. Oh God, no. <laughs> oh God, no. There's, it's not that, over. It's that was an absolute blind. She was just realizing what she was doing with her life. Created a power vacuum. <laughs> Yo, he was the only person who knew what was going on with this movie, dog. Oh, yeah. go. Wait, what did that? <laughs> I like how he just randomly carries fishing line. <laughs> Right? Also, they yeah, ca- for- they carried matches. There's that one scene where they like break into the, the they come in the back way of the power core, and he yeah. has matches and he lights it for the sign. And I'm like, you were just in water. Where did you get matches? <laughs> yeah, that make sense. Yeah, and if you also, have them, how do they work? How do they? The work? water lit on fire, so presumably lighting that match will light you on fire too. I hope right. Yeah, it's like if we're lucky. Gasoline. Yeah, if we're lucky. <laughs> Fingers and toes crossed. Like, I just don't know how this was supposed to work. We're going to grab this chain, this medallion, and no one's going to notice it or hear it clinkity, clanking, clanking around. And you know what? That's the only thing that does make sense in this movie. At least, what's her name? Slash. Lash. 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 Like a whiplash. Yeah, that was dumb. So, (laughs) so Slash. That's what we go. No, you know what I'm going to call her? I'm going to call her Sable. (laughs) <laughs> Y'all remember Sable from WWF? Yeah, from WWF. WWF. yeah Go we don't call her uh, Sable. She looked just like Sable right here. But yeah, man, I just thought this whole thing was dumb. But we do get on one of our first ever CGI scenes here. Um, well, real quick before you do that, Phil, your whole issue with the scene was like, oh, they're going to lift it up and no one's going to see it. Not the medallion's bigger than the opening in the vent that you're trying to pull it through. Oh, uh, you know what? All those oh, things. Oh yeah, baby. they would they wouldn't even be able to get it. <laughs> no. All those things, baby. <laughs> even if that magnet wasn't like way too light to pick it up, like it's, yeah. <laughs> it's still not getting through that vent. You're not, not getting chance. through that vent. Oh. And... Also, they fell like thirty feet from the ceiling. Like it was. Uh, how are you a lot? <laughs> how are you a lot? I just want to know. Yeah, someone should have a broken <laughs> ankle or something. I love, I love the statue. <laughs> Yeah, I like how he got. That's what I'm saying. I like that. This is terrible too, because oh, like, oh, Ole, like that's terrible. Well, especially because he could have gone shadow. Also, he could have gone these shadow. Dudes they just, yo, I don't know if you ever too. slid down a rope, but you burned your whole hand. <laughs> there's, a Batman, there's a reason Batman and Robin had poles. You know, like that's right. <laughs> well, we'll. There's there's a couple of reasons that. Alex, there's a couple reasons they like poles. <laughs> hey, yeah, <old> buddy. <laughs> but I mean, like, at least Alyssa's got stuff. fucking gloves on. Yeah. Right. I want to get to this little CGI moment that we have. Like, oh, with the, the staff. This ain't a CGI scene. Uh, it is. No, no, no. There's a m- right there. <laughs> 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 okay. That was it. <laughs> That was it. Look at this. It's all CGI. Look at this. This is great, man. This is great. Which not bad, I don't think. I think that this is the all star of the movie right here. Like this, this moment we're, is the all star. We're done. We're done with this episode now. I can all go home. Uh, Did we yeah. have three D back then? Because it coming right into the, the screen was a very like. Hey, moment. we yeah. finally learned about 3D. Let's put this in the movie. <laughs> yeah, they feel very, yeah. They might have had some, you know, this is the time when you would have like 3D showings of certain movies. So maybe they did have it 3D. Yeah, I don't put know. on your 3D glasses for like 15 seconds and then just take them off because <laughs> <laughs> <have a> headache. <laughs> yeah, otherwise there's um, nothing in this movie for you to watch. Uh, but we should, like we we could talk about this movie for a really long time, but let's at least just talk about the ending real quick before Please. we wrap it up um because uh, this this you know at the, at the end jimmy and billy they both get each side of the medallion uh and they, yeah, they activate the double dragon to it's power. what's amazing like oh, what? the 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 giant fight scene with like the random gangs and the children and then when <laughs> yeah, right. when billy finally activates the strength one just beating the shit out of jimmy 
Like he should have like been killing Jimmy with those punches. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, because he's got been... the medallion. Jimmy. Right. Yeah, the medallion was protecting him, but Jimmy should have been uh, killing. Uh, I mean, uh, Jimmy should have been killing Billy, but he's got the medallion, so he wasn't dying. Gosh. You know what I'm saying? So, but I do have to go. You know what? We're playing my favorite thing. About <laughs> that, that eyebrow. Oh, shit. You said it. You said it. You said it. That's <laughs> that what I'm talking about. Moment. That's the best there part. There it is. Here it is. Really, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, bumps the rest of it's not Be- Best effects. Best effects in the movie right here. <laughs> Let me give you some <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> shitty made out and die. Oh, Hugo's no. face right there is like, God, my tunic also, is so much better. Also, where did this come <laughs> Where did this Shazam, this Kazam <laughs> genie yeah, I have come to from? Like, like this because we can't uh, see it. Yeah. yeah we got it. That. How? How? And it also, sway? can anyone else see her? Because I think Shuko looks Shuko, at her. Shuko can. Yeah. But, but then she just else? goes away and no one else acknowledges it ever. But, like, it's but crazy. Shuko would have been way better if he was like, what the fuck? You know, like if you did the double take on that, yeah, that would have been way better. Yeah. Or, or some, somebody like looked up, like, remember how high when, when what's his name's mom, like while he's rowing? And somebody looks at him like, damn, that's a huge bitch. Like that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> somebody would, would have been like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> that's a huge bitch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this movie ends up, you know, with uh, the, 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 the good guys winning. And uh, we get this like sort of, it kind of seems like it's a send up uh, or a setup for a sequel. Or something because uh, you know, we had a Bobo go on his wild, yeah. We never even talked about uh, we never showed a Bobo's crazy ass transformation. Oh, yeah, we did. We showed him getting the spinach. Well, yeah, and so- they do this super kids gay, uh, kids movie thing where he, now he joins the he sees the error of his ways and he fights with the good guys, you know, like, oh, yeah, wow. now he's now he's a, he's a good guy, he's a good guy, you know what? Um, yeah, I don't know that he wasn't a good guy, you know, he, he was just out here doing his job. Yeah, he was just one of the many insane people in this insane city. Uh, yeah, doing insane right. things. Um, He's just trying to make a buck. You know, I want to say this. <laughs> one of one of the things that stuck out to me, what always did, was the speech that what's his name gives when he's got gets possessed by uh, Shuko was when he's like, "Do you ever know the story of Romulus and Ramus?" Yes, <laughs> <In the> end, <laughs> Romulus <laughs> kills that Ramus. Is a great moment. And I was yeah. just like. I, as a kid, I didn't know what to think about it. So I, as as an adult, when I thought about that movie, I'm like, I always remember that scene when like freaking Mark Cass is like, do you know the story of Romulus and Ramus? And I was like, <laughs> I do now. I, 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 <laughs> Dude, yeah, I, I, want, a- I want every movie to star Mark Dacascus with Robert Patrick's voice. I <laughs> yeah. love oh that God, scene yeah. because I literally was like, Shout out to Coach Etheridge out there. You know, you knew you out there. Uh, Coach Etheridge, he was the eighth grade uh-huh. high school teacher. I mean, an eighth grade history teacher. You know what I'm saying? And that's that motherfucker did it. You know what I'm saying? He he told me this story, and it felt like he was telling me this story in this movie. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I really felt that scene, man. That scene was dope. Like Romulus and Remus, great story, and you know Rome. But what people don't realize when you're telling that story, you're telling the beginning of Rome, but you also Rome, don't realize yeah. Rome fell. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It wasn't sustainable. And that's why well, that's what know. happens when your founder is raised by a fucking wolf. True. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Ray. Hey, yeah. check out our episodes of Raised by Wolves right here on the Drunk Memphis <laughs> channel, right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just want to play this little ending part here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know about this. Trust me. I'm sure glad we ditched Billy. Now Marion and I can finally be alone. What? Oh no. Wasn't it because he thought Billy was in a bobo? Yeah. 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 But he's got the soul medallion. Yeah, uh, no. Stupid. Let me tell you something. I think that's why Alex was just trying to play that for you right now. It's dumb. <laughs> okay, bro. okay. It's it's dumb. There's so many dumb things um, about that one. But moment. they did just scream all at the same time. 
so I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a great scream moment. Probably my this is my second favorite. Uh, first favorite being when they saw a Bobo in the theater and they both screamed at each other. That was that was a nice scream. And by the way, listen on this one. I like this one. By the way, I don't, I don't. Yeah, she's in four of the mini that they do on the show in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not mad at any of those. I really don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's weird, but it's campy. Yeah, I like it. I like campy when it's done right. Hey, Mikey, uh, he likes it. Mikey. <laughs> uh, but, um, guys, we've been talking about this movie for what seems like hours. Oh, man, you been. cut me off because uh, I actually had one question, one like oh, one more question because I wanted to ask Blake and Jeff. Mm -hmm. Like, does, does it? Does it? Hold. 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 That's right, you ladies and germs. If it's your first time watching, at the end of every episode, we vote on whether this film stands the test of time. And Blake, I will let you go first. Bring it down. So this movie right here, it is a <laughs> must watch if you love like those '90s horrible movies that they made video <laughs> games and they they you know, try to take the video game and make a movie about it. It does not hold up, though. Like, just don't for a second think this is winning any awards. <laughs> and and just don't expect a lot out of it. Just just go in and be like, hey, I'm here to run. I'm, I'm here to gangbang the 90s and make sure that I have this on my list. Uh, so this is a list of like a must watch like video game adaptation of a movie. But also, if you never watch it, you're you're, you're doing yourself a favor. This movie does, in fact, not hold up ever, never, ever, 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 ever. Not, I don't care what dragon power you have. This movie doesn't hold up. <laughs> well, I guess I have to ask the question, Alex. Hmm. Does, does it? it? Does it? Oh, Jeff. So lay, lay it on me. I'm gonna have to agree that Blake's wrong. This does hold up, <laughs> but but it doesn't hold up for any good reason. This this holds up in the sense of so you guys asked me about the first time I remember seeing this. The second time I really remember seeing this was when I was in college, and me and some friends were just watching. We were just watching old sh old movies that we loved as kids. And like, and we were just turning them on because why not? So I remember with my college buddies putting this on, getting drunk and laughing at how bad it was. And that <laughs> holds up. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. you know what? Yeah. That's a, you know what? I like that. I like No, that don't, don't encourage that bad philosophy. This movie shit. Stop it. It's, <laughs> it's, I just said, watch it if you want to watch bad 90s movies, but it doesn't hold up. See that's the that's where it splits in society. I think you know what I mean. Like, because certain people really like watching bad movies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> certain and, people, and some usually and, bad people. Yeah, usually bad people. <laughs> people who don't care we're not about. Bad, we're just evil. I'm a masochist. No, um, <laughs> it's, it's it is funny because like you know one of the things we I guess when we just, just talk about these movies it is that sort of split between nostalgia and just like being grown and knowing about what makes a good movie and a bad movie. Uh, and those, I just feel like those two parts of our brain are always fighting each other when we're talking about movies like this. So it's like, am I watching it because it's nostalgic? Am I watching it because it's so bad it's good? Or do I still find some sort of like real cool enjoyment out of it? Oh, um, and all that is <laughs> compiled up, all that is compiled up into one question uh bill how do you feel i feel pretty good <laughs> <laughs> oh ask I mean, a silly ask a simple question yeah oh you, uh, you mean just, how do you answer. how do i feel about the movie um, look, there was great things about this movie. You know what I'm saying? The mailman, which we didn't get to. The postman. But, 
be yeah, the postman. Do yourself a favor. Punch yourself in the face. Go find that shit right now. <laughs> it's at um I have 45. forty-five minutes and thirteen seconds. <laughs> literally, look, it's literally just came up on the TV right now. Um, Airmail. <laughs> that's what he should have said before he jumped off the thing. He should have said airmail. That would have been great. But okay. um, yeah, there's great moments. You know what I'm saying? Like ugly, homely. That's fucking hilarious. You know what I mean? Um, Ridiculous. Shuko is a great villain. Like that's not that's undeniable. Like he's just a great villain. Um, the element of the gangs. You know, the story owner of the gangs take over at night and uh, the regular folk got to go up in the crib. So otherwise, you're going to get robbed or killed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I I dig that. You know what I'm saying? Like Los Angeles being like a disaster area. I didn't like because that's how every fucking like action disaster film movie or whatever movie in the future. If it was in the future, Los Angeles was all fucked up. Yeah. Yo, Late fuck running. y'all, man. Like, that's <laughs> fucking wild, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We out here minding our own business. Y'all think we just gonna fall off the edge of the earth yeah. or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> I said yeah, all yeah, that. Didn't Blade Runner, I mean, uh, didn't Demolition Man think uh, the world was gonna go to yes. stuff in 1997? Lost, like, look, yeah. <laughs> in Demolition Man, Los Angeles to San Diego became one fucking city. Oh, man. City. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, go, please go watch the Demolition Man episode. Yeah, we, got, we talk about that on... Uh, this up on this show but um after the what was it the the fast food wars what they call the fast food wars yeah no there's there's nothing else to call them it sounds ridiculous because it is but that's is what they call (laughs) historians are terrible historians are terrible at naming things even in the movie (laughs) Um, was it the restaurant wars no franchise wars it was the franchise wars no that's why it was the fast food wars franchise wars Franchise war? That seems more mm-hmm. epic. But no oh, man. But um I feel like we've to had to answer the question. Is this movie doesn't hold up? No. It That's doesn't hold up, man. Like, I want it to hold up. I really want it to hold up. You yeah, but it's like them suspenders that you got that don't really fit you no more, but also the pants that you got don't fit. So every time you manage to get it to connect, <laughs> that shit snap and it just pop and it pop you in your, it pop you in your eye. That's really what makes you fucked up. It pop you in your eye and then your shit is red and fucked up. You swole up and you can't see out of it for like two weeks. And that's what happens when you watch this movie. Yeah, like well, like white people's faces after the age of 30. It doesn't hold up. No, 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 no. No, it does. Picturing like a rodeo clown, the way you explaining this guy's attire. No, it's like yo, his big suspenders and a big waist. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like you put it right there, and, then, and you put it on, and then just snaps, pops him in the head, gets hit by a fucking bull. It's That's terrible. what happens when you watch this movie. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you enjoying yourself at first. Something bad happens. Then something worse happens. You get hit by the bull. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not uh not good thing they got morphine and that's how it feels at the end. Like, oh man, I'm glad I can go get drunk after this because I don't feel <laughs> I, I don't feel like I should have been doing this this whole time. Yeah, you know what I, I kind of feel like is um Alex does it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, man, I've kind of gone back and forth while watching while while we're having this conversation but i will say that it doesn't hold up and actually i think both of our answers were different the first time we did it (laughs) it. (laughs) honestly i think that it it was completely i think we had other people on at the time too yeah um but uh shout out to terry nine but yeah i don't feel like this holds up um even though there are a lot of things that i really enjoy about it uh i was very close to uh voting it does for all the same reasons that jeff said um but the utter disrespect utters of my nipple uh <laughs> mm-hmm. just like like i i feel like jimmy lee should have been like a bigger bigger role scott wolf should not have been in this movie uh <laughs> and i didn't those, yeah i didn't want to get those two country. things much like sabine and ahsoka uh is well, like enough to hashtag just kill sabine i have to hashtag, hashtag kill sabine, kill sabine. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This, this, just this like really probably doesn't come out this. until January, but hashtag it'll still, right. it'll still be fitting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just like there, there are way too many things that uh, where where you can clearly see where the movie should have zigged, where it decided to zag, and it made <laughs> a worse movie for it, like because it made. 16 wrong decisions yeah this... uh, but there's a lot of really good great stuff the world building uh the a, a lot of casting decisions are really great there's i don't give the world building late, any credit but... because they did it in 14 other movies in the 90s <laughs> before this movie uh, or around none the of them time. had fog fans <laughs> you know what you're right <laughs> i can't argue with that that's true i, we I just wish that fans. they had uh yeah, i just wish they bad. went with like uh batman blimps and like you see the fans just like like they're trying to come in for land and fans just blow them away. Well, I'll <laughs> tell you why. Bad. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna we're gonna show y'all right now why we eventually at the begin like the first time we recorded this episode, we voted it yes, it holds up. And that's because you gotta get this, yeah. you gotta get this handshake <laughs> down. You see I feel saying? like I could easily start an argument by just asking which one to use Billy and which one to use Jimmy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> on that note, we'll get on out of here. <laughs> Tune in next week, folks. You can find out which one's Billy and which one's Jimmy. I'm, I'm definitely the Al Leong in this movie. Like, I'm the Huey. I'm the Huey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, uh, we and Louie in this one. We not no goddamn. No, we not doing that. Uh, but uh, before we get out of here, uh, Blake, tell the people where they can find the particular you particular questions. Interwebs. Yeah, I was just going to say right before that, of course, the white guy's trying to entice violence between colored folk. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> He's been doing, he's been putting us against each other for years. <laughs> Jeff, you always do this. Who no, 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 no. Blake, we love Blake, you, let Blake yeah. answer the testicular question. Where can the people <laughs> find you? That's a great question. Um, you can find me, Money Blakeweather, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Um, you can find my podcast, Unfiltered Bachelor, on all those same places. You can also find it on YouTube, or you can find it on your favorite podcast platform, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Play, anywhere podcasts are. That's where that show is. Or you can find me on Nine Nerd Yards, uh, just doing all the interviews and doing all the shows, or Nerds at Night, doing the same thing. Or if you just want to hear my take on... 90s movies and 80s movies you can find me here on the one and only home of does it hold up drunk banthas on youtube that's <laughs> hey, it yes. that's it that's... Uh, yeah uh blake you know he's got the the open door uh policy here um does it hold up you know obviously all the whole nine nerd yards crew they they come through all the time so if you love the nine nerd yards i mean if you love does it hold up you should check out Nine Nerd Yards and Nerd yep. Nights. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also find Blake on OnlyFans, but he ain't, you know, you just got to find it. Well, you won't <laughs> recognize him. It's only feet. Right, yeah. You, can, you just got to find it. You just got to. Wiki feet. He's on Wiki feet. <laughs> it's, just, actually, it's, just, it's, it's just the toes, too. It's just like the like three toes. Yo, it's just doing a little something to, experimental. <laughs> shout out to Ava Sehas because. She gave me that wiki feet joke <laughs> right. because she is actually on wiki feet. So right. uh, yeah. I'm trying to aspire to them kind of goals. If y'all see my feet before you got them on camera, put them on wiki feet. You know what I'm saying? Help, <laughs> help a brother out. Yeah. But Jeff, <laughs> where can the people harass and oh. and send well. hate tweets to you? <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, you can always try and Skype me at Don Cheadle's driveway, littledicky2.com. It's a uh, oh. Because of the hackers. Because the hackers. Because yeah. of the hackers. Uh, you can try and find Jeff Madel on Facebook at Madel Jeff on Instagram. You can find me on Nine Nerd Yards and Nerds at Night. And when Surf Ninjas is getting reviewed, you can find me on Drunk Banthas, pushing <laughs> that episode way fucking longer than it's supposed to be. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh man, I always love having you guys on. We end up talking about these movies way longer than we should. But it's always still feels just right. You know, it's, right. That, it's that Goldilocks. Uh, Goldilocks. All yeah. you guys out there, we appreciate you tuning in, watching. If you watch this far, you're fucking amazing. Please click like, subscribe, hit that bell, and also go check all of us out at Nerds at Night. 
You know what I mean? By now, it should be about 50, 11 videos on there or something. So yeah, we should have about 50,000 subscribers. Yeah, Check out be... the Gotham Gazette. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was getting to. Who Check me that? out on the Gotham Gazette. I got plenty of motherfucking news for y'all. Um, Alex, check out the drunk reviews and the drunk analysis, and we got more stuff coming for you right here at the Drunk Banthas yes. channel. Yes, yes, yes. We're all very amazing. We do a lot of things. Please check out everything in the video description. Uh, in the video description, if you don't remember all the things we just plugged, uh, you don't have to. You can just click on the stuff in in the bottom. <laughs> Thank you for watching the show. New episodes drop every other Monday at four twenty a.m. Check us out on. Uh, so all social media platforms at the drunk banthas please like and subscribe it's not required but if you don't you will not be invited to the cookout we'll see y'all in a couple of weeks peace